Hi, this is Joseph Lebrec, and I'm going to be demonstrating some of the new code features inside of Adobe Edge Animate Preview 7. So let's go in here, and I'm going to open up this composition right here. And I have my code panel already docked. Uh, you may not know, but the code panel by default is actually hidden. So if you go into Window and choose Code, that'll open it up initially as this sort of... Uh, a floating panel which we can then go and dock. I like to dock my code panel along with my stage up here but uh, you know you can do whatever you wish. So if we go in here to the code panel itself we can see that this particular uh, composition doesn't actually have any code associated with it. So let's go in and have a look at some of the new pieces that we have here. So in the code panel we can add items to the stage, and the items are categorized by events, elements, and timeline. And you can see here with elements we can choose one of our elements. So maybe if I want to choose this piece of text, then we have click, double click, mouse over, and so forth. You'll notice that we also have mouse enter and mouse leave and focus. So these are actually new for this particular um, build of edge animate. So if I do uh, a mouse enter maybe we want to start over and play from a certain point, right? We can also go in here and let's look at some other stage events. One that is also new is the on error event. So stage on error document dot on error and you can see through the notes here that it inserts code to be run when a JavaScript error occurs in a handler. So we're able to now catch any of our errors that occur, which is pretty cool. If you look here, you can see that uh, code snippets can be turned on and off. By default, they're actually off, but we can turn them on and we'll be able to insert them just as we do in the actions panel. But we also have this full code view. And for the full code view, it actually shows us our entire JavaScript file for this project. So you can see here is the actual uh, play instruction, the play action that I actually uh, added to the text symbol that we used here. And we can see this all in one file. I obviously don't have a lot of things here, but if you did, it'd be a good way to go about and look at all your different actions. Another thing that's new within the code panel, and you can see here we don't have any errors right now, it'll be able to detect any sort of errors we might have. So let's say I go in here and oops. So automatically, and it was pretty quick too, it gives us these little red alerts and it tells us we have two code errors. One for binding closing comment not found on binding starting at line 24 and also a syntax error at line 27, unexpected token. So if we want, we can go in and add that back and the code errors go away automatically. So this has been a quick overview of some of the new code features available to us in Adobe Edge Animate Preview 7.